Welcome to Health Promotion's Wellness Wednesday Tip. I'm Alicia Perry, Manager of Health Promotion at 19 Wing Comox. For today, I'm going to share some communication tips. So while you might be getting very excited for the upcoming holiday season, likely this year is going to look a lot different for many of us. The holidays are not always a cheery time for everyone, so what exactly can you say when someone might be going through a difficult time? We're often not sure what to say when someone has experienced a loss or when they're going through a particularly difficult situation. Perhaps that person is expressing their, their sadness over not being able to gather with family at this time of year, or that they have some financial stressors and concerns on their mind or that they are upset about not being able to celebrate a particular milestone, or maybe it's that they are concerned over being able to graduate on their university plan that they had in mind. So these concerns for them are completely legitimate and it's important that we validate those feelings. Our immediate reaction is often wanting to fix the situation or make that person feel better. Sometimes we say things like, don't worry, or it could be so much worse, or when I experienced something like that, this is exactly what I did, or how exactly how I felt in that exact situation. Or things like, at least X, Y, and Z hasn't happened to you. So we're coming from a place of care and concern and not wanting to hurt that person, but often saying things like this doesn't really make the person feel much better. So how exactly do we express empathy? Empathy might just be sitting and just listening to that person. It's not our job to fix that situation, but we can sit with that person and listen and be there for them during this difficult time. Depending on the situation, some things that you might say to help comfort that person include, I'm so sorry you're going through that. Thank you for telling me. Would you like to talk about it? You can express that you're there for them at their own pace. It may sound like, I care about you and I'm here to listen if you'd like to talk. Or validating their feelings may sound like, you're right, it is unfair that your family is going through so much stress right now. And acknowledging their feelings. I'm sorry you're not able to visit your family this December. I know how much you were looking forward to it. And check in on those who may need a friend to listen. I know the holidays are a difficult time for you since your loved one passed away. I just wanted to reach out to let you know how much I care about you and see how you're doing today. Often we tell someone, reach out and let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you or I'm here if you need anything. But it can often be hard for that person to reach out and even harder to identify specific things that you may be able to help them with. So depending on the situation, it may be helpful to offer specific things that you can do. Saying something like, I know you're carrying around a huge burden right now. I would love to be able to offer or drop off dinner for you. How does Tuesday night work for you? Or offering to pick up their online grocery store order and leave it on their friend's steps for them or whatever errand they may have on their plate. So offering to do those specific things may help them realize that there are specific things that someone can help them with and it also gives them that example so they don't have to ask you for that help. And sometimes all we need to do is just be there and listen to them. So remember that this time of year may be particularly hard for many people. I encourage you to reach out to family and friends and colleagues and, and check in with people, particularly people who are living alone and even those people who seem to be the strong people that have it all together. We could all use a little check-in just to know that we're cared for and that someone is there um, in our life that cares about us and we're not alone in this experience. If you're finding that the holidays, or any time of year for that matter, are hard for you, there are lots of resources that are available to you. Some of them include 21 Health Services. The Padres and your local unit Sentinels are great listeners to reach out to. There's also the CAF Members Assistance Program and the Family Information Line for counseling services, as well as counseling services available to D&D civilian and MPF employees. There are also local resources including 24-7 crisis lines, so please visit capconnection.ca, link below, for additional resources and details on what all of these services offer. You are certainly not alone. There are many different supports available. Thanks for tuning in to Health Promotions Wellness Wednesday Tip. I'll see you next time.